Okay, so in this video, we're just going to compute the Hamiltonian in terms of the uh, creation and annihilation operators of our uh, spinner theory. So uh, basically, we just use the Fourier expansions we found last time, so this thing, to compute uh, this. So we just need to first compute this term this operator acting on psi. Um, and so to do that, we just, we can move this in uh, to, uh, you know, inside this expression, the sum. Uh, so it will act on this us e to the ip dot x. And so when that operator acts on it, uh, the derivative, I'll get a, uh, a um, minus ipi. So again, this p dot x is like minus i, minus p i x i. So um, I get a minus sign. And so minus i times minus i is minus 1. And then similarly here, this is really positive p i p i x i. So I get a i uh, p i when I take the derivative. And that will cancel with this minus i. So that's how the signs work out. And um, yeah, so we just need to evaluate these operators acting on these spinners, which we can work out because we found that, um, um, so we found that our spinners, if, if our Dirac spinners satisfy the Klein-Gordon equation, then these spinners, uh, our basis spinners will satisfy this equation. Uh, so basically, we can use this, we can split this sum up into the time and space parts, and then basically solve for this operator, and just write it in terms of the uh, time parts. So that'll reduce this expression a lot, and then similarly for this term. So I just get uh, this thing down here. And... Um, uh, so p0 is ep, so uh, I get, you know, uh, ep times whatever square root of ep is square root of ep. And then I have my gamma naught here, and this. And so that's all we need to do for that term. And now all we need to do is, to compute our Hamiltonian, is do the integral of psi bar times this expression. So I've written that out here. And it's, you know, the usual thing we have, this integral over space, all space, and these two dummy momentum integrals for our two fields. And we FOIL this out, and we get this. And, um, oh, well, okay, so I FOILed it out, and then I've also, so just like, before, when we've done these Hamiltonian calculations, we do the integral over x first. And uh, so we can basically replace, uh, once we've multiplied these things through, we'll get like a delta p minus q for these terms, and then a delta p plus q for some terms. And that will enable us to do the uh, momentum integral over q. So basically, um, all that happens is in some terms, q becomes p, and in some terms, q becomes minus p. So that's all I've done here. And uh, now at this step, we can use our some of the uh, inner product identities for our basis spinners. So when we have the same spinner, or, well, ur uh, dagger times us, or vr dagger times vs, that will be two p0 times delta rs. And then when we have ur dagger of p times vs of minus p, that will be 0, and then similarly for the other order of things. So basically, these two terms go away. And then I can just, um, yeah, in this term I get a 2EP, and then I can replace, so there was an implied sum over both R and S here. 
So uh, once I have this uh, uh, chronic or delta, I can replace, I can do the sum over, um, I guess I did it over r. So all of my r's become s's. And so I, it just reduces to this, which is similar to what you get to when you do the complex Klein-Gordon theory. Only there we had a plus sign instead of a minus. And so there what we did is we used the uh, commutation relation for our creation and annihilation operators to move uh, c, uh, c dagger to the left. And um, then we also, and we also got a you know, delta of zero that we just threw away. And we said that was basically, uh, instead of doing that, we could just normal order things by moving all the operators with a, uh, all the creation operators to the left and all the annihilation operators to the right. And we called that normal ordering. So here we're also going to do a similar thing, only we're going to use the anti-commutation relation. And that way, uh, when I switch these things, I'll get a plus sign instead. And I get a minus uh, delta of zero. And again, we're going to throw this term away. And um, so uh, after we've done that, so we'll just be left with this thing. So this is our normal ordered Hamiltonian. So notice that when we were dealing with the creation and annihilation operators of our scalar fields, um, normal ordering amounted to uh, basically the operators commuted under normal ordering. Uh, under when we're dealing with uh, spinner creation and annihilation operators, our operators anti-commute under the normal ordering uh, operation. So, if I to normal order this expression, I com I anti-commute these two things, so I get a plus sign or well, I get a minus sign, so I cancel this minus sign, so I get an overall plus, and I can switch these. Uh, so that's the key difference when dealing with uh, direct or spinner fields and real fields.